Welcome back to my channel and uh, today we're going to pick up where we left off last time which is we had the tank under the counter, we had some fittings installed, some, uh, some hosings run, now we have to punch a hole through the bottom of the trailer and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do today and I've got all my stuff set out I think and I believe how I am going to do this this is the fitting that I purchased, it's a, what they call an extractor fitting. So this is going to go on the bottom of the trailer and it's just a simple hose fitting. You can connect a hose to it, take it out in the field, drain it. And of course I'll be using the, uh, the vinyl hose which I'll put on here. And I also have a couple of the uh, spring clamps that I'm going to be installing on that and hopefully the uh, bit that I have, which is an inch and a quarter that I'm going to go through the bottom of the trailer, that should be big enough to allow the, this to go through with the fittings because once I drill the hole and install this, I can't get down there to install the clamp. So um, we are going to drill the hole, put our tubing on, go ahead and clamp it, secure this to the bottom of the trailer, then we'll come back inside under the counter and make our connections to our fitting up here so that's that's basically what it's going to look like uh, through the floor and then we uh, will be set to have a drain then we'll reconnect all of our fittings uh, put our clamps on and we can test it to see if anything leaks which I don't think anything is going to leak the only iffy uh, thing I would think of is probably the sink. I'm not sure about the gasket on the bottom so but we'll test that see if there's any leaks if so then we'll uh, make a run to the store grab some uh, some putty stuff and, and then we'll make a seal. So other than that we'll have the holding tank installed and then we can prepare to install the water tank and pump. So we're getting closer. Stay tuned. So I'm going to use a long drill bit to tap through the floor because I have um, this three quarter inch plywood here or half inch and then I have a space that is under the board then we have to go through the floor so we're looking at about four inches or so before we actually get out through the bottom of the trailer so I'm just going to use a pilot hole and I'll start drilling on the top and then uh, I'll go from under the trailer and drill back up this way that way we get some clean cuts and uh, hopefully that works out now this space is very tight so all of us are not going to fit in there and uh, so I'll, I'll get everything drilled and then I'll show you um, <laughs> what it looks like when we're done so coming out from the bottom of the trailer uh, this is going to be where a hole is and we've got it drilled from the inside so now we'll just uh, tap through here and we will be through okay we have a hole alright next is to go ahead and get our tubing run install the fitting on the outside and then we can finish it up on the inside so the tubing that we're going to run is this here and connect it to our fitting. Now if you look at this tubing, I think this come near the end of the roll, but it's uh, sort of elongated here and uh, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a measurement from the bottom of the trailer up to the fitting from our tank and then I'm going to cut a length of that and then I'll show you how we're going to straighten this tubing out so it's going to work for us because if you run it in like that, I mean, eh, that's not going to work. So, let me show you what we're going to do. Alright, so I took a rough measurement from the bottom of the trailer up to about the center where I put the hole through the bulkhead here for our fittings to come out. And uh, it's probably about three, two, three inches long. So we're just going to take our little handy dandy cutter and we're going to... Uh, snip off a little piece of hose here that is what I need and I need it to be straight and I need it to be round so let's go make it straight and round shall we 
So the first thing we're going to do is we've got a pot of water and we are going to boil some water. No, we're not going to be doing any cooking and I don't know what you want. My cat seems to think every time we come in the kitchen she has to eat so uh, you'll probably hear her popping off. Okay, so we're going to let the water boil and then uh, we'll get ready to straighten out the tubing and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Uh, simple about 10-15 second project and with any luck it turns out just right. So stay tuned. Okay so our water is boiling and we are ready to begin. So we have our tubing which uh, obviously looks like this and we want to make it straight. So I'm going to submerge this into the boiling water for about 10 or 15 seconds take it out, put it on my towel, and with any luck it'll straighten out. When they extrude the vinyl tubing, um, the plastic has a memory, so I'm relying on that memory to come back to shape. So let's see what happens. Look at that, it's starting to straighten out already. So we're just going to set this out here to dry. I'll run some cold water through it and uh, we'll install our fitting. All right, that worked out pretty well. So here's our uh, tubing right now. And as you can see, it's a heck of a lot straighter and nice and round. So we will take our fitting. We'll go ahead and put this in place. Right, and then we'll install our spring clamps, just like so. So I installed these uh, with the ends in the opposite direction. So that is on there pretty tight, and I don't think it's going to leak. And that tubing will shrink a little bit more around our fitting. So now we're ready to run that through the bottom of our trailer. And I went ahead and punched a couple extra holes in here, so we have four holes. We'll put a butyl tape put that on, install this on the bottom, and then we'll uh, attach this to our fitting for our tank. All right, sweet. So I have the uh, tube going through, and now we're getting ready to install the screws, so pre-drill a couple holes. Now we can attach our screws. Okay, so we have everything securely fastened. We've got our screws in. Our putty tape is oozing all the way around. So now we have a nice seal and uh, hopefully no water leaks through there. Then all we have to do is take this off, connect the garden hose to it, and I can drain my tank. So now we can go inside and go ahead and connect our tank and we will check for uh, any leaks. Okay, so next is uh, to install some clamps around our fittings and I'm going to put two around this end, two around this end and then when we uh, install everything we'll hook the tube up from the bottom and put a couple of clamps on that and call it good. So let me get these installed on here. There we go. So two clamps on our fittings and the ends are opposite directions so we've got a nice clamp on both sides. So that's good for that. We'll run that through a bulkhead and go ahead and connect it to our fitting on our tank and a couple of hose clamps on that one and then we'll do the same on this and then we'll install the bottom. I'll give you a shot of it when it's all connected. Then we'll fill up the sink with some water and try draining the thing and hopefully the water stays in the sink and it comes out the bottom with it out without going anywhere else so cool okay 
<coughs> so now we're ready to make this connection and our tubing is a couple inches long so we have to uh, make sure and cut this off probably about right here and I think that's going to be right about there let's see do I have a do I have a marker here I'm just going to mark that make sure that we do have it yeah because I want to draw this down just a little bit so I think that's going to work get our cutter put our clamps around that, install our fitting, put the clamps on, we're done. Okay, fitting installed and pointing in the right direction. Yes, so that's good. That has a little bit of wiggle room. And then on this side here, get some light. We are set up here. So fittings installed, clamps in place. I'll probably give these a quarter turn or so to make sure that uh, those are fairly tight. Our drain is in and tight. These are all tight. So next is to uh, test for leaks. So the moment of truth has arrived. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is whether or not the sink will hold water because of the way that the fitting is up against this drain. So this should set down there and fall down in place and with any luck hold water. So let me go get a container of water. We'll fill up our sink, make sure our fittings are nice and tight and, uh, and then we'll drain it and see how well it drains for us. Uh, so I set me a little pan under here just in case there's a little drip or two. Uh, can never be too cautious. All right, let's put some water in this thing. All right, sink seems to be holding water. Well, I take that back. We do have water in the tube. So, our drain doesn't hold that well, but that's okay. I don't plan on taking a bath in here. So let's pull the drain and see if it... Uh... Awesome. It worked. And we have a little bit of a trap because here's our water line just about where I thought it would be. And uh, yes, and I don't see any, any leaks yet. Nothing around our fitting here on the bottom. So I'm going to fill this sink up a couple more times, get some water level in here, and then we'll test out our drainage system. It's draining very well, and our water line right now is about right here on our tank. And, uh, yep, 
we get into the place where we can uh, test out our drainage. Sweet. That worked like a charm. And I don't see any leaks or any signs of anything going to leak. That makes me happy. All right, now um, I'll go outside and I'll just connect a hose to the bottom. We'll come inside, pop that valve, and uh, with any luck, this thing should drain. Uh, and then we can check for leaks around here. So I don't think we'll see any. But let's test it anyway. All right, I have a small leak right under here. I'm gonna have to uh, probably get everything drained and then come back in and retighten all that and make sure make sure that I've got a good fit. I'm not sure exactly where it's leaking from. I don't know if it's from this fitting or if it's coming out of here, which it shouldn't be. But we will take a look and see. So let's go ahead and drain this thing. I have a hose hooked up outside. We'll run outside once I pop this valve. Make sure it's draining good. Here it goes. Water's flowing. Let's go check it out. See any leaks around the edge. That's probably a good thing. Alright, second attempt. So I tightened this fitting up a lot more. Um, probably didn't have it tight enough. And I still think, yeah, we still have a leak. So I'm probably going to have to disassemble this fitting here and. Uh, do something for the inside, put another gasket or something just to keep it from leaking. Well, that's a little bit of a test, so... Uh, so, I'll probably disconnect this line and this line, pull the tank out and uh, work on that fitting, make sure I get it nice and sealed. And then uh, we'll do a third test. Third time's a charm. Well, sometimes viewers know best. So I had uh, one of the subscribers comment, mention that the gasket should be on the inside, and uh, I was thinking that it shouldn't be. So I installed it the way I thought it would be, and to no luck, it leaked. But I'd taken the fittings off, put the uh, gasket on the inside, reinstalled the fittings, and tightened her down, and I don't see any leaks. So I did the same with the top here. Uh, see if I can't get this off real quick. Well, gaskets on the inside, and it seems to be holding. So, that, my friends, is how I'm going to leave it. <laughs> no leaks, no worries. So uh, I'll keep my eye on this for a little bit. I've got the tank about three quarters full and uh, make sure that no water's seeping out. So before I call it done. So it's been about an hour and I know this one little drip here so I think it's this fitting. I'm going to drain the tank, take this out, put some more Teflon tape in there and fasten that down. And I think, uh, I think we'll be secure. All right, we're back and everything's reinstalled. So we'll give it one more try. We'll go ahead and fill the sink up and, uh, 
make sure we have no leaks. I did take this fitting off, put more Teflon tape around here, and uh, I think that's going to secure our fitting. And I think we're about ready to call that one a wrap. So let's give it one more test and be done with it. So, uh, so far we got about five gallons of water in this thing and I don't see any leaks or sign that it will leak. So we'll drain this sink and then uh, we'll take one last look for leaks and then we'll drain the tank and call it good. Alright, so we drained the sink, go ahead and wipe that out and uh, now we'll just leave this tank set for a little while. I just want to make sure that uh, we are leak free before we drain it and uh, then we're uh, done. So that will be the install of the holding tank. So stay tuned. So it's been about an hour and uh, I don't see any leaks. So that's good news. So we'll drain the tank and uh, we will call that good. Okay, so I did uh, I did my cleanup, put my tools away, put all my fittings away, and vacuumed and all that good stuff. So um, everything is prim and proper. Cool. All right. Next task will be the freshwater tank. Well, thanks for uh, all those watching the videos and subscribing. Appreciate your support and uh, keeping the channel going and uh, awesome shout out to Colin Joyce they recommend using the uh, gasket on the inside of the tank instead of on the outside like I proposed which uh, didn't work out so well it leaked so a little bit of a switcheroo and we were able to uh, seal that off so thanks Colin and uh, awesome so next video, we'll begin starting on the freshwater tank and running the plumbing for that. And I think the last step for the freshwater tank will be connecting it to the faucet and then uh, turning it on and <laughs> with any luck, no leaks on that side. So cool. I got done what I wanted to get done and no leaks. Sink doesn't hold water that well because of the way the fitting uh, is attached to the bottom but I don't plan on filling the sink up and, and taking a bath in it so it's there for a drain I probably won't use this very often uh, it'll just sit there we'll turn the water on turn it off let it drain so that worked out really well and uh, I'm happy and pleased so with that I'd like to say thank you for watching and subscribing and liking the channel and uh, much appreciated so with uh without any further ado i'll see you next time